Good afternoon. The Lethbridge Main Street project is providing some emergency funding to help prevent the collapse of two historic buildings in downtown Lethbridge. The buildings are in what's known as Chinatown. They've been declared unsafe and at least one longtime resident is getting help finding a temporary place to live nearby. Terry Vote reports. The buildings are among the oldest in Chinatown dating back to 1908. One is the Boan Tong building, the other is known as the Manny Opera Society and Canton Chop Suey House. About two months ago, a neighboring property owner noticed a large vertical crack in one of the walls was growing, and part of the building appeared to be sagging. Well, mainly water damage, lack of care. Um, so the water in the, in the rear of the building has, has damaged the foundations. The owners have agreed to voluntarily close the buildings on the advice of an architect and engineers who say the structural condition is no longer safe. Basically, we just got the, uh, the word that we got to move out. The building is going to be condemned. One of the buildings was being rented out by the Desert Wind Belly Dancers. They were given about three hours notice to pack up and move out. Part owner and longtime resident of the other building, 72-year-old Albert Leong, is getting help to relocate nearby along with his cats. It's very important uh, for, for the owner to, to be close to, to the property. Um, he has lived here his entire life. The buildings have never been officially designated historic sites, but they are considered to be significant priorities not only to Lethbridge, but also on a provincial and national scale. The number of, of um, uh, buildings is quite small, but the relationship among the buildings is, is uh, unparalleled in terms of what's existing in, in other communities. This is our history of Lethbridge. This is the story of us. Uh, all people who live in Lethbridge, so it's important, it connects us all. There is about $85,000 available to help with funding this project, but officials admit that probably won't cover the entire cost if they have to restore the buildings. Terry Vogt, CTV News, Lethbridge. The man who's been relocated, Albert Leong, has requested privacy at this time. Friends say he wants people to know, though, that he is grateful for the help he's receiving from Main Street, Lethbridge and the city.